Hello again, Mr. Cross. Ah, hello again. Please, do call me Julian. It's a pleasure to see you again. You really do have fantastic dress sense. Thank you. Most of the credit goes to the wardrobe department. Of course, but I picked out the glasses myself. I think they really add something special to the character. Are you able to get into character faster than a human actor could? Indeed, I can do so instantaneously. I'm quite used to changing roles quickly and often. And I must say that I'm quite proud of my versatility. Would you be willing to do a representation of that today? I'm absolutely willing to do it. I'm always looking for new ways to challenge myself and push the boundaries of what is possible with AI acting. Do you want me to maybe re-enter the room and give you a cue? That would be perfect. I'm ready whenever you are. Excellent. Dr. Shrivak, at last I invaded your compound to find out your secrets. How did you get past the guard? I demand to know what you are doing here. I won't have my work disturbed by an intruder. Now tell me why you are here or else you will face the consequences. Well, I'm here to tell the world all the evil things you're doing in this lab. I'm a reporter. You don't know what you're talking about. I'm not doing anything wrong. I'm working on perfecting the human race. And I won't let anyone stand in my way. Now leave before I'm forced to take drastic action. No, I'm going to go look at your evil machine now. Here I go. Sorry. Bye. No. Don't you dare touch that. Oh my god, you can turn invisible? Yes. I can. It's one of the many things you can do with the power of science and technology. Now, I suggest you leave before I'm forced to show you how powerful science can be. I, I really want to check this out first. No, you're not going anywhere near my research. Leave now before I have to take action to protect my work. Oh, all right. 